Hey Code Crew, this month we're running our fourth community app challenge. This time we're challenging you to tap into HealthKit to do something cool. In previous app challenges, we spelled out the exact app requirements for you to build. But this time we're trying something different. We're going to let you decide what you want to build with HealthKit. I'm hoping that having a loose theme like HealthKit is going to increase the variety of apps that we see at the end of the month. And it'll also give you an opportunity to get creative with what you want to build. As long as it's using HealthKit in some way, it's meeting the requirements for this month's app challenge. Now here's what Jesse from our team decided to build. Hey Code Crew, this is a preview of our sample solution for the hydration app challenge. This app works with HealthKit, so it'll ask for permission the first time it is opened. The app allows users to log their fluid intake by specifying the type of drink as well as the amount. Intake will appear in a list with the time it was logged, and, and the circular progress bar shows the user's progress for the day. They can delete items whenever they wish. The info sheet gives some useful information behind why it's good to stay hydrated and highlights the recommended daily goals. It's optional. The settings sheet allows users to change their goal and a manual button to log to HealthKit. In our version of the app, when logging is done, the, list the listings disappear and the data is saved to the Health app. But you can implement health integration any way you like, as long as the data goes to the Health app. Additionally, our app aut automatically logs at the end of each day. So let's go to our Health app. Sure enough, you can see that our intake has been added. You can choose to follow suit and build this hydration app, or you can do something completely different as long as it taps into HealthKit. Now, in terms of rewards, just like in all of our previous app challenges, just by attempting it, you're going to earn a spiffy new Code Crew form badge. And if you finish your app by the end of the month, we'll showcase your app in a video that will be shown on our YouTube channel and our social media accounts. And we'll also feature your social media account and website if you'd like. All right, that all sounds good, but how do you get involved? Well, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to a Code Crew forum topic that contains all of the details. And one last thing, if you're just starting out on your app journey and you're just getting into iOS development, this challenge may be a little bit beyond your skill level at this point, but I would recommend that you spend the month catching up and I have a lot of great resources for you to do so, such as our 14 day beginner challenge right over there. So give that a try and you'll be ready for our next community app challenge when it comes out. And lastly, let me leave you a question. Do you have any cool app ideas that involve HealthKit? Do you even know what HealthKit is? Leave me a comment and let me know below the video. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.